All their findings never saw the light of day. They just stayed buried in the dust. My best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. You fix it up, pull in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. We get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to hear. Still means we have to find a way to reach him, of course. One problem at a time. of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew, and I was, after a while, able to calm my wife. set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here was pretty special. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running.
We ain't got time for that shit. They're coming. Fuck them. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. <laughs> no shit. Embrace the suck.
Go there, rabbit. They'll stay back. Shit's about to get real in here. Wait! Rachel! <sighs> You're alive? Have any doubt, Marine? Where's Eric? going. He's dead. You can get past this, Rachel. He deserved better than me. What happened to him? Rachel, um... Tell me. He was shot by one of the Iraqis. This Iraqi's still alive. He is, and he's close. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things, they got Joey, Clarice. What is it? Therese was infected. Those things, I don't know how they got inside her. I couldn't take the risk. I had to leave her behind. You telling me Clarice is still out there? That's not Clarice anymore. I saw her changing before my eyes. I believe it. Same thing happened to Joey. Make sure every shot counts. All right, fall back to the main temple. We can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. I need help. We can't let any of those things through. Already. Can't let any more in. Don't care what their invite says. <sighs> You 
worthless pile of shit! about the time we bug out. Any objections? They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Oh, come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait, yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Down? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone, move to the east gate! some distance between us and those things. We fucking killed Rachel, man. Shh. Listen. Can you hear them? Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Can I get a little translation? Tell him to drop his weapon. You're in no position to give orders. You sure about that? Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Flash Ahban, shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. At least this time it won't be in the back. I'm gonna be on the way! Nick, deal with this shit. I don't know what to tell you. We could really use their help. They're the enemy, Nicky. I don't trust any one of you. It's them. We must get this door open. 
Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Right now, we need every pair of hands we can get! I didn't forget what you did to the Colonel. I had no choice. Looks like the worst place in the goddamn world.
teach you to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. Are you alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. A sword and the shield. Too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. For one second, you're trying to cross me. You best believe me. The following second, you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jarhead? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that.
What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here? Hold my son. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It fled to me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. Is the meaning of those markings on your hand it's to honor the dead it's the reason i fight it's as good a reason as any it's a damn good reason the only reason i have no grievance with you maybe you need to switch on the news <laughs> listen there was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. I say we get the fuck out of here.
Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your bag, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Do you want to hear a joke? Nope. First of January, 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here.